Welcome to Punchline Talks Apprentices. My name's Mark Owen, and today I'm talking to Lewis Bray. He's from Barrett Homes. Hi, Lou. Hello, Roy. Really nice to meet you. So what do you do at Barrett Homes, mate? Um, I'm a carpenter apprentice on a building site at the moment. So doing first and second fix and uh, roofs and joists. Um, and what is first and second fit, please, mate? So first, fit, first fix is like the stud walls, um, the external doors, and then the second fix is like the internal doors, your skirting board, architrave, and um, yeah, like the stair banisters and things like that. Okay, you, do you like the job? Yeah, really enjoying that. Uh, what do you like about it? Um, I just like the independence and um, just that you you're always doing something different every day, and um. Yeah. And what school did you go to? And you're 17 now, aren't you? So did you leave school at 16? Yeah. What schools did you go to, please? So I went to Frampton Cottrell Primary School and then Winterbourne Academy Secondary School. And what kind of grades do you get at school? Did you do OK? Um, yeah, I, I passed I passed all my exams getting uh, C's and two B's. OK. And did it make a lot of difference to Barrett Holmes? What grades you got? Um, yeah, you needed to pass maths and English to get on the course. And, and how did you find the job? Um, I went through the government website. Um, but there's there's loads of ways you can find them. There's for, they they go around schools and there's like flyers and. But I went through the government website for them. But there's loads of different ways you can get to them. Okay, and what kind of training do the do Barrett Homes give you? Do you go to college once a week or twice a week, or how is it split up? Yeah, so Bar Barrett Homes do a bit different to other uh, companies. So instead of doing it one day a week, you go in uh, blocks. So it's for two to three weeks every six months, and the college is based up in Leicestershire. So um, yeah, you get they they support like travel for you to go up there for a week. Come back, come back weekends and put you up in hosts and stuff. It's quite, quite good. Yeah, but I bet that's a bit of a, an adventure. That's quite good fun going somewhere else, leaving home. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. And it, yeah, yeah. If you haven't been on a train before, I definitely like grows you up a bit. Like especially if you're leaving straight from school and things like that. Yeah, it gives you a lot of independence and grows you up a bit. I think. And what about the guys, the older guys that you work with? What, what's that like? Are they a lot of banter or you know, is it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it, that's one of the. One of the other things I really enjoy about it is you have you're a really good crack on site and it's a lot of like like team like good good team I think and yeah. And so, what's your sort of career path in? So, how long is your apprenticeship for? Um, so I've got, do you see yourself? I got my level two uh, exam in three months, and then hopefully I will then go on to level three, which is another year on top if I pass my exam. Okay, and what, what kind of things will we be doing then? What, in level three? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and what uh, type of building work will we do? Probably just like uh, advanced property things, but it's more just another like year of learning. But you, you do, you can you learn other things and get more experience before you then go out on your own. But level three things include like kite winder stairs, um, like cut roofs and things like that. And were you always sort of good with your hands at school? Is it something that you always did? That, you know, uh, did you always no, want not, to be a builder? Can't no, be. not really. It was I was I was in my second to last year at school, and um, I was doing things around the house and stuff. It was nothing really to do with school. I was just doing things around the house, and sort of six months before I left school, I thought, yeah, that's what I want to do, and then sort of applied a load of. Um, a different apprenticeship played for this one got had an interview and and got it and it was quite good what they were offering me so I, yeah so so the so the route was pretty easy then really um yeah I, I was looking for quite quite a bit but um yeah I obviously had to do research and that for the interview and and yeah got through the because there was over a hundred people for Barrett so over like a hundred people applied they narrowed it down to 20 interviews and then two of us got it me and someone else 
And what if, if I was a young kid sitting in school now, 16, 18, what, what was the one thing or a couple of things that you'd say to them about becoming an apprentice? Um, I'd say if that's the sort of, if that's what you want to do, I think, yeah, go out and go for it and just put yourself out there, I guess. And uh, so what sort of salary are you on now, mate? So you're 17. How much money do you make? Um, last year I earned twelve and a, just over twelve and a half thousand. But it with Barrett's it all and other companies it, it just when you're an apprenticeship when you're an apprentice it goes on your age, so it goes up however old you are, and um yeah thing things like that. Uh, and do you know what sort of salary you can get to? Um no I'm not sure I I know I I'm I'm I went up if another two pounds an hour when i turned 17 so i started on five pound 40 an hour and now i'm on seven pound 20 an hour i i know some brickies and carpenters and some really good money as they get older you know once you once you yeah once you become established then it's up to you yeah yeah Yeah, because that's all the carpenters on site they are um self well they work for a self-contractor and they're self-employed, so they're on a price, so they get paid for what they do. So yeah, w- once you once you finish your time, if you're quick and your 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 work's good, you you can earn really decent amount of money. Okay, uh, Louis, that's fantastic. Thanks ever so much for talking to Punchline Talks today. All all the very best for you. Oh, just very quick, are you are you learning to drive or anything like that? Yeah, what I I, I got I got a car. I've had loads of lessons, just waiting on a test. What kind of car you got, mate? I got a little Citroen. But hopefully in a couple of years, I'll get, get a van. My daughter's got a Citroen as well. She's a teacher. That's not bad going, mate. I've I got a battered old Hyundai, so you're doing better than me. Anyway, yeah. really great to meet you. All the very best for your future. And thanks for talking to Punchline Talks. Okay, thank you. Cheers, bye.